Welcome to Investing Confidential. Uh, well, this is what everyone's talking about today, the Silicon Valley Bank, and obviously their contagion, which you know, hitting the European banks. Before I give you my view on the Silicon Bank, Silicon Bank situation, I want you to listen to what I said last year in October. And if you've been buying 10-year bonds or 20-year bonds into declining rates, you've got massive volatility and massive paper losses. If you're levered and your bank's holding it as collateral, they're going to see you, hey, put up more collateral. So I would suspect that what we're seeing in the UK is going to happen all over the world. The US is not immune. US pension funds got sucked into this as well. I don't know. We haven't seen anything yet, but it's, it's, it's inevitable. You're going to see this in the US. You're going to see this all over the world. These pension funds, these and, and it also insurance companies are going to have some major issues because, again, rates, the dollar is causing massive, massive dislocation. This is just the beginning, and rates are going to go higher. Despite what everyone says, rates are going to go higher. Inflation is very sticky. This is not the, this is not the last you're going to hear about pension funds in trouble around the world. How do you protect from it? You go to cash. Okay, essentially what I talked about here was the UK pension fund system. They had a big crisis, okay, big crisis. The UK pension fund system pretty much was broke. And I told you it was a canary in the coal mine, and it has been a canary in the coal mine. And this is what is happening here, okay? Essentially, you've got all these institutions that have loaded up on, that loaded up on bonds over the last five years or, so, or three or five years, uh, and these this rise in rates because of the the inflation and the spending and the craziness has created a lot of mismatch in funding liquidity okay so you got loans and bonds people lend they buy they buy bonds as as assets then you got liabilities these are depositors or in the case of the UK pension liabilities this is called funding okay unfortunately when you're leveraged like most of these uh, alternative lenders are and the assets you own decrease like we've seen with rates going up, the prices decrease in value, and your leverage you become insolvent. Okay, then there's a run of the bank, and the and 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 people depositors. Okay, unlike pensioners, can demand their money immediately, and investors, etc. They want their money back. Uh, so it's the same type of situation. Obviously different because we're talking about pension funds versus. But but I'm telling you, the pension funds here have the same situation. Okay, we're going. A lot of this is now going to be revealed as these rates normalize. Silicon Valley Bank took in deposits from, you know, to Silicon Valley, you know, the tech guys, startups, et cetera, startup people. And, you know, they also borrowed money from other banks, the treasury, et cetera, and then lent money out to a bunch of startups and invested, also invested in bonds. They took all this money and they invested in bonds and startups. Well, startups are reliquid. They're having a lot of problems, especially now. And bond prices essentially cratered. Their bond portfolio was decimated. Their startups are having liquidity issues. They can't pay any liability, so they desperately liquidity took massive hits. Uh, interest, you know, depositors need their interest, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Long story short, it's gone. Silicon Valley Gang is gone. Who's going to buy it at this point? Nobody. Somebody will buy it for peanut for pennies in the dollar, but it's gone. OK, and this is what is called an alternative lender. So if, if, you, if you're worried, don't first of all, don't listen to these morons telling you the banking system. Is at risk. The banking system is not at risk. OK, the, the, over the last seven years or 10 years, the big the big lending that's been going on, the leverage in the system is with alternative lenders like Silicon Valley Bank. OK, U.S. banking system has stayed away from risky investments since 2008. They, they kind of learned their lesson. I don't think so, but they kind of learned their lesson. So this is where all the risk is, okay? You got the buy now, pay later companies like Affirm, and now PayPal is involved in it, but I'll go into that in a second. But what they all did, similar to the UK pension fund, is they funded liabilities with short-term loans. This is what crushed Bear Stearns in 2008 and, and Lehman, okay? And then the chickens come home to roost, and they either get they get their liquidity uh, yanked and 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 they go bust or they get bailed out. Okay, there's no best case scenario here, by the way, folks. Absolutely zero best case scenario. Okay, rates are going up. That's the bottom line. And many of these alternative lenders are getting crushed. So if you are invested in a firm or Block, for example, SQ symbol, PayPal, uh, 
Carvana, that's gone. Open Door Technologies in the real estate industry, they're an alternative. They're gone. Okay, all these guys are gone. They're all going to get blown out over time because of what, you know, what has happened over the last 12 months in terms of rates going up and, and normalizing. And so I repeat this. The UH banking system is fine. Ba U.S. banks, as you can see here, large banks have plenty of liquidity. Okay. Some of these banks need funding and they're going to have to offer higher, higher CDs, higher yields. Okay. This is going to hurt their profitability. And again, Stock market wise, you don't want to be involved in these things. Okay, they're not going bust, but they're going to have their liquidity. I mean, sorry, their 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 profits are going to be squeezed. Okay, but the economy is where the real damage is. Okay, you know, high credit card balances. We talked about that recently. Low FICO car buyers uh, equals increasing defaults. Okay, and this is what we're seeing: defaults are increasing, and there's going to be no relief from the Fed. Okay, like there was in 2008, you had Bernanke helicopter money throwing money at the lowering interest rates. The Fed can't. Okay, look at this chart. Uh, they're they're stuck. Okay, this is 1970s inflation. When inflation, and this looks at, you know, on average, a lot of companies that, that a lot of countries have had this type of 1970 type of inflation. When inflation hits eight percent, it takes years, years. For inflation to come back down with the Fed's target of 2%. I mean, they're either going to have to take the economy into depression or it's going to be, you know, three, four, five years before we get any kind of inflation coming back to what we had for the last, you know, 30 years. Okay. So here it is two year treasury over 5% spiking. Okay. Here's the two year treasury, how it's moved over the last year. This is brutal. Look at this move of the two year treasury. This will decimate. The, the the portfolios of any bond investors, absolutely decimate. Then you've got the terminal rate here. As I said, it's heading to 6%. How do I know that? Well, we got something called the Taylor Rule, which has confirmed this move to 6% plus. What is the Taylor Rule? Taylor Rule is a monetary policy targeted uh, um, rule used by the Fed and other central banks. A lot of central banks use it. It considers Fed funds, price levels, changes in real income. Bottom line is, it's showing that we're moving to 6% on the terminal rate. That means the two years going higher, 5% plus, maybe even 6%. 50 basis points, as you can see here, is almost baked in at this point for the next meeting. But don't listen to the morons, by the way, who tell you Silicon Bank's an influence. That's what Kramer is. Silicon Bank's an influence the Fed down. Silicon Bank is not a risk to the system, so the Fed should not be influenced by it. Certainly, certainly the private equity guys who probably have money in Silicon Bank are going to call their buddy Powell and tell him to talk dovish, whatever. But Powell's locked in. He's locked in. He's got no choice. The inflation number next week is going to be huge, absolutely huge. But it doesn't matter. The inverted yield curve, as you see here, we are going into recession. It's 100% fact it's a question of the timing i say we're already in recession because these these numbers these economic numbers are complete completely uh they're, they're 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 nonsense they're fake they're nonsense but it's going to be confirmed okay finally the majority of people as you can see here they're just not comfortable with their personal financial situation getting better over time what does that mean consumer confidence is going lower why is that important the u.s like every other developer, but more than any other, because of the leverage, because of all the credit cards, all the, is the most consumer-driven economy in the world. Okay, so consumer confidence, is, consumer confidence is plummeting. We have all these issues. So if you're an investor, be very careful out there.